I was um, a sailor and I had two concerns. One was the South Bay from a sailor's perspective is perfect sailing. It's, it's big, it's wide, it's warm, steady breezes. Uh, but boating was dying down here. It used to be Redwood City had 12 boat yards at one time. Now there's no boat yards left in the whole South Bay. The second reason was as a director for the Marine Science Institute, uh, we were on a month-to-month -month lease from Leslie Salt Company and uh, always worried about our future. It was a great program, took thousands of kids a year out on the bay and taught them marine biology. And in my innocence, uh, as a director, I said, well, I'll just find a spot and we'll build a dock and have a permanent home. What could be simpler? Redwood City is the only deep water port in the South Bay. And there was one channel in Redwood City here on West Point Slough, which was a deep water channel. And on one side was a wildlife refuge. Uh, and on the other side was a bitter pond, which is chemicals left over from the salt farming process. There was simply no access out here whatsoever. So we said, that's the perfect spot. It's only about a mile away from MSI. Big boats can get right in. And uh, we reckoned if we cleared all the wrecks in the channel, and there were many, that the channel would flush itself and remain deep. And so there would be no maintenance dredging. And finally, in 93, obtained a, a contract of sale uh, for 35 acres on West Point Slough. And that started the permitting process. And uh, that took 10 more years, from 93 to 2003. There were actually five environmental reviews. Virtually all of the project was, in fact, positive mitigation. We're getting rid of a toxic pond, uh, which was uh, already beginning to leak. And there was always a fear that if it leaked into the bay, it would kill large portions of the bay. To get rid of the bittern on the half of the pond I was going to buy, we had to get rid of the bittern on the whole, the whole site. So we removed bittern from the 110 acre pond. As a consequence, the remainder of the pond has been a roost habitat and it's been maintained by Cargill for that purpose for the last 16 years. And so I had the support of the Regional Water Board, uh, Boating and Waterways, uh, Fish and Wildlife, and Fish and Game. Redwood City was quite supportive, but very, very careful and diligent in making sure uh, all the right sort of things happened. There was no agency, uh, no organization, uh, no uh, environmental group that didn't support the project. And in 2003, I got the last permit and uh, we were able to start excavating the Marina Basin. And this hole behind me, which is 26 acres, 25 feet from top to bottom, took uh, four years. We were able to open the excavation to the bay, made 26, almost 27 acres of new bay surface, and all 600,000 yards of mud that was excavated was dried, compacted, and used to build the uplands of the site. So it is now a 50-acre project, 24 acres of land, and 26 acres of water. Creating additional bay surface was a big deal. You know, conservation and thoughtful development are not conflicting things. You can do a thoughtful development along the shoreline. So what West Point Harbor has done is we've added another almost a full mile to the Bay Trail. We've added almost 300,000 square feet of public access, public amenities. We put in a thousand feet of guest dock, more than any other marine in the Bay. We keep an eye on Greco Island for fish and wildlife because they don't have a boat to patrol. That was not a requirement, but it's something we did. We're a certified clean marina. We test our water every uh, twice a year. It actually tests cleaner than the bay itself. The pond, which was used to store chemical bittern, is now long gone, and uh, we have a new basin.